Well, hello. I hope you're doing well today. Hey, I just want to do a quick video here. We're going to walk through the process of uh, restoring games from origin. And we're going to walk through this together, you and me. Um, and I've never done this process before, but apparently this is the accepted way and the, and the successful way of, of getting games uh, backed up and then restored into origin much the same way you do in Steam, except, except that Steam has an automated process and this is a very manual process. And after all this time, I don't understand why Origin does not provide, just provide this in the client here itself. But who cares? All right. Anyway, here's my situation. I just bought Battlefield or Battlefront Deluxe Edition. Awesome. It's a 52 gigabyte download. That's an awful lot of stuff to download more than once, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to go through this process of manually backing up these files, the install files, to another location. And it's apparently a, a fairly simple process, but we're going to walk through it. And the first thing we need to do is we need to find out that what the instructions are. Well, I found these, and these are from an EA forum, from an EA admin, you see a community manager, who actually gave a whole step-by-step -step process. Thing is, uh, his step-by-step -step process needs a little updating. For one thing, you need to go find your files. You need to find the install files. How do we do that? Well, we just cruise to them. Now, it's supposed to be, according to this, program files x86 origin games, right? So let's go look there. x86 origin games. Well, look, there's nothing there. Oh, no, we're screwed. Where are our games? Okay, here's the deal. If you need to find out where your games actually are, it's real simple. All you have to do is go into your settings, your application settings. Look at this tab up here. This is in the client, installs and saves. And you'll see game library location. Okay. Directory, C program files, x86, electronic arts. Now we can change that folder, but we'll, the default, we're going to leave that alone. You see we have legacy installers too, in case you have older games that need to go somewhere else, that's where it's going to be. So this is how you find out where your game, game installers are. So let's go ahead and let's do that for my games, for Battlefront. So now, we know where that is now. So we say, okay, we know it's not an origin game, but where is it then? Well, according to that path we saw, it's going to be in Electronic Arts. And lo and behold, look, there's Star Wars Battlefront. Very simple, guys, very easy. All you basically have to do is copy this entire folder and all its contents to another location that you'll use to be basically a transport device for wherever you move it, another computer, another hard drive, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do a copy. And then I'm going to, I have an external drive hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the external drive. I'm just going to paste it there. And we'll just let that happen. You see how big that file is. And when that's done, we'll come back. All right, we're back. And what I've done is I've actually booted into another uh, drive on this same machine. I actually do this for redundancy. And in my game library, uh, you can see all the games that I own. But usually I do a filter on just what's installed. You see that in this drive, you don't see Battlefront because Battlefront was never installed here. What we're going to do is we're going to solve that little problem. And the first thing we do is first we get a little instructions back here. You see they're right here. Now, we know our install location is different, but let's go check that. Let's look at our application settings again. Okay, Program Files, x86 Electronic Arts. That's where it's supposed to be. Now, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to actually start the install, but then pause it, and then copy our folders over from our backup copies. And let's check our backup copy, which I put in this drive here. I see it here. 
but we have to actually start the install to let Origin make its its changes so that we know. But the first thing we have to do is actually find the game in our library. There it is. And let's see, it says new. Now, it says download, right? Less than an hour. Well, it's going to play. This is an eight-hour download if I try to download this game. Now, let's find out exactly what they want us to do. We told you the basics. Okay, I've got the origin client there. Application settings. Find the right path for downloaded games, yeah. Open my games window, then right, and it wants us to start the process. As you can see here. And as soon as data is starting to download, we'll hit pause. And then we'll go we'll go to this next part. So let's get let's get our game installed. Let's start the download process. Except, and this sets it all up. Yes. Yes. Can I see this? Look at that. So this is going to take 11 hours. We have a very slow connection. Well, it's not going to take us 11 hours, but we're going to let it download some. Just enough to create the folder. We've got 123 meg. All right. We're going to pause the download. Now we're going to go to our location where we saved our files, and that's where this is. We'll do a copy, and we'll go to our C drive, just like this. Now we know it's Electronic Arts, and you can see, see, see from the timestamp here, all we're going to do is basically overwrite this. Yes. Thirty minutes is a lot better than eleven hours, and eventually it's going to pop up and overwrite, but it shouldn't be a problem. We didn't have that much written to start with there yet. All right, looks like our copy is done. Let's check the file here. Okay, looks pretty much the same. We've done what we were supposed to do here. So what's our next step? We've cut, we've moved the file. We've got everything over there. Now it says that once we've completed it, again, if you, if you get anything, it's an overwrite. It wants you to just basically do the go ahead, move, uh, move and replace. And then a little box down here, do for the next conflict so you don't get uh, a, a dialogue to death. Now what we should do is go back to our origin client and resume. Let's see if it picks it up. Okay, we're going to stop this. Apparently not. All right, it shouldn't be taking this long. All right. Looks like it got hang, hung up. Yet another reason why Origin. This is good though, because you may run into this. So let's see if we can solve this problem. See what just happened there? 
We had to restart Origin. It was stuck. So now it should complete. And there you go. It won't let you stop the download or, or stop the process. What you need to do, if it gets hung up like that, and it doesn't come back from the resume, is just close down your Origin client and then start it up again. And you see, instead of 10 or 11 hours, we have about 17 minutes left, which is much better. I really don't know what it's downloading. It shouldn't need anything, but... Uh, and I have a very slow internet connection, too. This is why, if you're like me and you've had to downgrade your speeds, you don't want to download 52 gigabytes more anymore than you have to. When this is done, we'll come back. All right. It looks like we're done. Let's see. Let's see if it updates the... All righty. Good. So we check for updates. That I do that just to be sure that it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and close down Origin again. And we'll look at the game library, and there we go. We've got our icon. Let's see if it works. Looks like it's launching. Looks like success to me. All right, so we've got Battlefront running. We've got it installed, and it didn't take 12 hours. So what do we have to remember here? Big thing, back up your games folder from Origin. In this case, for this version of Origin, it's going to be in Program Files, x86, Electronic Arts, and then look for the name of your game, and just copy that, and paste that entire folder, the whole thing, into a dr another drive somewhere else that you're going to use for install later. Like in this case, I installed mine here on my installs drive, and on my uh, external drive here. Then once that happens, you boot up Origin, you start up the download for your game, such as, let's say I wanted to install something else. Apply that filter. Say I wanted to install Bulletstorm. All right, I would just go ahead and start the download process, let it run for a little bit, pause it, then copy my, my games into, my, into the folder it creates, and then either resume or, in this case, what I had to do was actually shut down Origin and restart it to let the file sync up so that it would actually recognize that it already had the files that I copied in from my external save location. Then go ahead and start up the game. You know, it, you may have a few downloads, a few minutes you have to wait, but it ain't going to be hours. Almost as simple as Steam, a little clunkier, but that's how you do it. And with that, I'm out. Hope this was helpful.